to watch it one more time, man. What's happening, family? I got a fresh crew in here today. I got the homie from the D in here with Moochie. Look at Moochie hair. That yeah. shit is laid and plain. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Look, Moochie, if you, if you went outside and you seen any white people today, I know they were saying to you, can I touch your hair? Can I touch your hair? <laughs> Let me touch that hair. <laughs> yeah, just hanging. Man. Yeah, man, that stuff is doing. T Strings, my brother, how you feeling tonight? Man, I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot better, man. Last dude, like probably about two hours before the event, man. Somehow I I freaking cut my eyeball, man, and scratched my cornea, dude. I was, what? I was, what? In, yeah, man. I was in so much pain, dude. It was, and I, I was, I was trying to set up for a little minute, all like this. No, nah, <laughs> bro. I kept wondering. I was like, no, nah, nah, I'm, nah, I'm out. Nah, I'm out. Nah. nah and so I'm, I'm, that, I'm good now. Uh, I'm good now. Uh, our doctor looked at it. Everything okay. I'm, I'm not going to go blind. So, thank I'm God, <laughs> boy, Moochie. You know that the super chats is about to be rolling in here. If yeah. neither the diva get in here with T stream, boy, this might be a record night. <laughs> we we combine her milkshake. With his dude shape, boy, we might be in a lot of trouble. All he got to do is show that bald head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let it glisten a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. So, T, while we got you in here, my brother, um, tell me about the way you felt with episode five. Did you feel like it picked up where some people felt like it was leaving off? And um, shout out to all the people in the building. Throw those hammers up. Throw those likes up. Show my brother T screen some love. <laughs> Man, who who could who could say that it was falling off? I didn't see nowhere where it was falling off. I mean, it yeah, it, it got to reel you in, but I didn't see I didn't really see no low points. But on this uh, this last episode, yeah, I was sort of I was getting a little amped up, you know, for a little second, you know, <laughs> I was getting a little amped up. One of my favorite lines of the entire show is "Welcome to my buzzsaw." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I got the picture for you too, T Stream. I got the picture man. for you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I had my man's I had my man's <laughs> laid out like that, man. God, now that's that's a real that's a real base head move right there. He like, uh, bro. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't even. I don't even want nothing that that would do that to you. Nowhere around me. We we can't yeah we, we can't fool with that. Look, um, I, at first that was my first reaction too, but the look of bliss on his face, I yeah. mean, my man looked like he got his face in a pool of something, and he can't get the weight off his chest. I mean, this this stuff right here. Yeah, he what nailed she it. Gave him. Yeah, he this, nailed this it. Dude is a seasoned actor, and yeah. for all my people out there and Moochie. Moochie, I got an update. I got an go update for you, Moochie. I got an I, update. I think when I heard, but go ahead, continue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I know y'all been looking for that dude two bit. And my my soon-to-be guest on the show on the 23rd, Paulina Wynn, who played my, she dropped the little buzz saw on her IG yesterday and sent a message out. And I got privileged to get this message. Take a look at what she's got to say. Just wanted to go on here real quick and say thank you to everyone who has tuned in to watch Force. Uh, thank you for showing me love. I appreciate y'all so much. And I feel incredibly honored to be a part of the Power Universe. This is not the end for Pauline and Gwen. You will definitely be seeing more of me. And also, is 2-Bit coming? Back? Mm, mm. And after all of that, this is what she had to drop on her social media. I'm starting, the more I hear her voice, the more I'm starting to like her. Check this out. Moochie, <laughs> moochie, moochie. Oh, see? And everybody, oh, why y'all want to wish for, why y'all want him to come back? I told y'all he was coming back. He needs reinforcements now. Was it, didn't I say that last night? Well, honestly, if you, if you actually Google, 
uh, the cast of Power Force, you you see his picture right up there. That was that was yeah, and I was like, hmm. So I mean, so they letting it be known that he is coming. But we we all had an inclination that that he would that it would only be right if he made some type of appearance. Mm-hmm. All I got to say is. You guys better come for this interview. I can't wait to get her on this interview. I'm going to ask her the tough questions. I'm going to ask yeah. her all the tough stuff. Yeah. I like this young lady, man. I, li- I like her energy. I like her swag. I wish they would have kept her a little longer, but hey, we will see her somewhere else. So, Moochie, talk to me about the role you think 2-Bit is going to play as they get ready to introduce him back. But before you do that, Moochie, it's about to be raining on us in here, ladies and gentlemen, with the Super Chats. Not only do I have tea streams for all the ladies, but look at what else I got for those that love to get that high fructose, high fat milkshake. I got a need of the diva in the field. all the boys to the yard. Oh, look, that's bringing the boys to the yard. Do you see Moochie hair? That shit yes. is laid I love it. I'm I told to her she better not walk. Just it. I told <laughs> Moochie so she funny. better not walk. She hey, better man. not walk nowhere where it's a lot of white people. They're going to want to touch her hair. Moochie, <laughs> let me touch that hair. Mm-hmm. It's late. So, Moochie, Moochie, yes. tell us yes. about what you think 2-Bit is going to do in the series this year. What do I think? What you think? Look, he's Paulina a, already know he's, he's a, coming back. He's a shooter. Mm-hmm. He's a G. He's in the game, D. I, I want. I think he's gonna form his own crew in New York, and we pop. We, we might see more of him since the Tejadas no longer have a supply. Did y'all think about that? Oh, oh! I thought about it a little bit. I just didn't put two bit in it. I'm just but saying he's gonna probably have to be in it. So, Nita, what do you, what role do you think two bit is gonna play when they bring him back? So, has he been confirmed for book two or book four? He's in book four for sure. We don't know about book two. And I guess you missed this, so let me play it for you again. Yeah. Because I, mean, um, I got this from my homegirl who's going to be doing an interview with me on the 23rd. Take a look at this. Just wanted okay. to go on here real quick and say thank you to everyone who has tuned in to watch Force. Uh, thank you for showing me love. I appreciate you all so much. And I feel incredibly honored to be a part of the Power Universe. This is not the end for Pauline and Gwen. You will definitely be seeing more of me. And also, is 2-Bit coming? Back? <laughs> Wait, who was that? That was now, Maya the, that just that, got that, here. Maya was talking. That was the, the, yeah, the dope girl that got stabbed with oh, the little yeah, She's beautiful. Is, t- who you telling? I can't wait till she come for this interview. Boy, and, and she talked with a little soul in her voice. Like, she hang around us a lot. Mm, yeah. You know what, Lamar? I thought it was um, Liliana for some reason without No, the no, no, no. Uh-uh, but yeah, uh-uh. so I'm like, okay. I swear mm-hmm. I didn't get mine from that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so you got her. You, oh, oh I got her. Locked in. I, I, okay. I, 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 I got I Black Lives Matter, baby. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to mess around and we're going to mess around and see Lamont on one of these episodes soon. Watch. Uh-oh. Yes. I done put it out if there in they, the universe. If they do that, I'm going to turn that bitch out. Do you hear me? And, <laughs> and I'm going to I'm going to turn it out. I'm going to represent my people and um y'all just be ready. They put if they put me on Fresh Prince because all the shit I'm talking to light skin eyes tapestry, I'm going to turn that out too. But anyway, go ahead Nita. What you think about 2 bit? Um 2 bit. Okay. Everybody wants to see see him in force. Ah, you know, okay, whatever. Okay. So if he comes back, if he comes back, I can see him definitely teaming up with Tommy because people are getting plucked off left and right. Mm-hmm. And with the whole thing with Jannar and Diamond, their little um, tiff that they're having, you know, I think he just needs one other solid person in his corner. Mm-hmm. But if we get that, if we get to bit, then what does that say for Liliana? Like, I don't know. Like, are we sacrificing one for the other? Or, you know, something like that. So I don't know. But, you know, I'm here for it. You know, I 
I guess I'd rather see him here, but how does he get to Chicago from New York? Like they're gonna have to make it make sense, but you know how they, you know, how it goes. Yeah, yeah. They they, they can make it make sense. Look, look at how we got the Serbians from New York to right. Chicago. Well, we already knew that they were out there. They were in Chicago mm-hmm. and in LA. So they were like and and we already know two bit is lingering around New York somewhere because mm-hmm. he came and got that money from Tariq. Mm-hmm. And he's and Tariq still owe him a favor, and um, you know, they, they can. I see how they can tie the story in. Yeah, but, they um, can. They definitely can. T streams. How would you like to see Two Bit tied into this story? Well, let's put it this <laughs> way, man. Um, I'm trying to figure out his exact what would be his exact role because his personality, I think, would would uh, conflict. With uh, what's his name, Gerard? Gerard. 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 Yeah. So I think I think those personalities would definitely conflict, especially if uh, Tommy popped up with another brother just out of the just out of the blue. Now, how they can make that happen is, I don't know. Maybe Tommy. Maybe Tommy called him, buzzed him. I don't know. You know, I'm I'm sure they probably still got some type of some type of connection. Uh, and like Nita said, you know, it, it got to it got to make sense. You're just not going to be driving up the street and see him, you know, stepping out of Walmart and, and just, you know, like, hey, two bit. Remember me? And all that other kind of stuff. So, <laughs> that, I, that would be I, totally... I feel like they're going to make it make sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm with they, Moochie. I'm with yeah, Moochie. They will. He's like going to have to become a distro. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they will. And that and that's and that's probably what would be needed to to put him in the spot or the position that he, that he needs to be in instead of being, you know, the little, you know, um, you know, corner boy or whatever, however you want to look. Cause you know, they play him like a boss, but at the same time he do corner boy stuff. Right. Um, mm-hmm. right. So I, I like to see them sort of flush his character out with, you know, with a little bit more, uh, with a more solid personality. Mm-hmm. And okay. um, <clears throat> it's time for him to get a promotion. Yeah, it's time for him to get a promotion. Now, <laughs> when we was when I was when I was watching it at the, you know watching that uh, that uh, black that black uh, SUV drive by at the end when you know when they was doing a little pop off, you know I was like, dang, who is that? Where they come from? Who could that be? And you know, and so uh, you know I was like, hmm, could that could that be his introduction had, had he all had he been watching had a, had the you know had the connection already been made you know uh because tommy of course he is dealing with some with some with some new people i mean it, it would be nice for him to have somebody familiar in this corner because right now he everybody he having to get in bed with you know not like that but everybody that he's 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 having to deal with is basically new and you know Hey, it's working for him right now. You know, I don't, I don't know too many people that's been very successful. You know, dealing with the mob and the and the hot, you know, high profile dope boys, brand new in the city, right off the rip. You know, but Tommy Except might got Tommy. that. <laughs> Tommy got that swag or something. He, he can pull it off. If anybody can pull so, it off, Tommy can. He got the hey, man. And, <laughs> yeah, and he and he the white boy at that on top of it, you know, in this new age doing this thing. So yeah. we're gonna dive right on into this with Moochie. I mean, excuse me, with um, Nita and T Streams, and me and Moochie will bring up the rear. Um, I want to get you guys' opinion. I'm gonna just go ahead and toss y'all into all the high points of the show. T Streams just alluded to it a little bit, but Nita, I'm gonna start with you. I'm gonna play this clip and I want you to give me your reaction to how you thought it all went down. Lily is tougher than a horseshoe nail. You can't kill this woman. I know, you I might can scar. Nine lives. <laughs> yeah, you might can scar her, but you can't kill her. 
Talk to me about the way they played this scene. And did you like all the theatrics and the music and the soap opera drama at the end when he turned around looking like the devil? Look at him. <laughs> now, was that supposed to be the same SUV? Yes. Yeah, yeah that's the same oh, SUV. Yeah. Yeah. It was a Ford that's Expedition. Not the one. No, that was a Ford Expedition. I, I don't know, y'all. It was it was a little corny to me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just a, a just a teensy weensy bit corny. It was just the way, like I don't know, like when Tommy got on the on the scene with the Serbs and they had Liliana, and I mean he killed so many people. I'm I'm still trying to figure out what kind of conversation are y'all trying to have. Then you you get Liliana from them. And then somebody comes shooting. I'm, I'm, I'm supposing that Tommy is telling Liliana to get down and not everybody. Like, it's, it felt like he was trying to save everybody. I was like, you trying to save the Serbs too? So I, it just felt just a little teeny bit corny to me. And then I figured it was Jannard because of the face that he gave at the spot when he said he needed to go get her. But then the whole thing... I don't know. It just it just didn't ring true to me. And so when he kind of did that whole thing, I, I'm I'm kind of confused at what he's mad at. Is he mad at Tommy? Is he you know he mad because his boy died? Was he mm -hmm. trying to save Liliana? I mean, I understand he went to save Liliana, and then he turned around and created another scar to lick. So I mean, <laughs> I don't know. That's, like, that, just, that's what like, he was doing, Nita. He yeah. created another scar he to suck on. Create another scar to lick. Well, I guess with this one, he'll have some fluid to suck out of it, huh? Because it's still <laughs> wide open. Right, clean through. <laughs> but clean yeah, through. It, was, it was all right, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> wow, wow. T Streams, jump on in there before me and Moochie jump in here. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, it it was all it was all right with me. I didn't have I didn't have any I didn't have any problems with it. But I will say, man, that Liliana is a liability. I don't know why why Tommy Ooh. just won't take the cakes, put one in her, and 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 mm -hmm. let her go because she gonna end up she gonna end up causing some some more major problems for him if he, mm -hmm. he if he keep having to throw his cape on to come save her. All right, now he didn't already, he didn't told her to hey chill at the house, stay low. <laughs> She didn't want to get high and and got uh, you know now she all over the place and walk straight up walk straight off into their hands and then I guess they you know she had to redeem herself by throwing that old crooked ass finger up <laughs> <laughs> so I, that boy was like this I said what is what is she doing but she 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 can't she can't follow directions. And you know when he when he specifically told her, "Will you do what I say?" I mean, she she was sounding like a kid that was in trouble in school. Like, yes, yes, yes. I mean, it was like so proper, like it was really well understood. And mm -hmm. she just went out and did totally the opposite. Now they didn't have to deviate from their plan to go save her, you know. And now you know something else may come about from it, you know. And it, you know, I don't know how I missed it. I, when I saw the when I saw the truck on flames, I you know I knew that was him when he turned around, but I didn't I didn't think that that was the same truck. It, same you know, truck. Yeah. So <laughs> there, go, there go my dreams. So. <laughs> Moochie. <laughs> Moochie, we've talked about this, but since we first talked about it, has your opinions of this situation changed? You still feel like Jannard was trying to do a two for one in this situation? How you feeling about it? Yes, I feel like he was trying to do a two for one, like you said. Mm -hmm. Um, you could tell by his face when Diamond and Vic said, "That's not our problem. We're not here for that, and we're not helping you." Because he mm -hmm. thought they was gonna just be like on board to go save her, but they wasn't. And he's not gonna speak up and defy his brother in front of everybody like that mm -hmm. over something like this because. He's still looking at the big picture with the money. Yeah. So yeah. as far as that goes, he, I think he was in his emotions for a minute. Cause remember, keep in mind, he's getting high. 
and yeah. he's impulsive. So he's in his emotions, and that's why he carried out those actions. Mm, 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 mm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, everybody lost their lieutenant in this episode, except for Diamond. Jannard lost his lieutenant. Vic lost his lieutenant. And Claudia lost her lieutenant. Mm, the one we just seen saying that two-bit is coming. I'm going to give the floor back to T-Streams and um, Nita the Diva after we see this clip. I call this clip my. What the hell was you thinking? The hmm. only thing I was wrong about was thinking you were the best Flynn to get this done. Don't you fucking leave. You're worthless to me now. Get the fuck off me! We're done. Nita, this, this is what I got to say to Claudia. My <laughs> wife is a kidney doctor, right? You know how many folks could have used that girl kidney and you just slice it up with the damn ice pick? <laughs> there is people sitting around here on kidney dialysis right now that could have used that girl kidney and Claude had to slice it up like it was a piece of French bread. I think her kidney, about this. her kidney still in, in place. She got the back of her head. She got the cranium. The, the oh, that was, oh, she got, oh, okay, okay. But you know she's not going to give up the body to donations. She's going <laughs> to go hot, throw the body in the river and let the sharks eat it. So still, right. she's still, we're still losing the kidney. Go ahead, Nita. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually knew that this was going to happen sooner or later. I didn't think it was going to happen this soon. Um, because like I said, when you bought the cook, when you bought the, the person who made the drugs, she actually just made herself a middleman. And she was yes. really unnecessary. Yes. She's very <laughs> And so, you know, her putting her hands on Claudia, I don't know what she must have been smoking that drug. I'm telling you, I don't know what made her think. But I knew Claudia had it in her, even though it looked like it was her first body. I knew uh -huh. she had it in her. So, and I think that's for anybody. Anybody, mm. man, woman, whatever. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> T Streams, talk to me, brother. Uh, well, <laughs> my, my, my was trying to haul hightail it up out of there for some reason. She wanted to take her drugs, take her basketball. She was going to go play in another court. What's up with that, man? What was her, what, why is she in such a big rush? Well, I think what it, what ended up happening was she was that's a weird picture. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think she she come to realize that old girl was behind the jack. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm thinking once she realized that, okay, it's time to go. I it, it's 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 about to get real ugly, and you know, and so she knew that it was time it was time to haul. Mm -hmm. But the way, you know, they why that little bitty why that little bitty thing the look on her face made it seem like this guy came and put <laughs> some knife in the back. She was like, <laughs> she was bugging. Yeah, That's where so, the term she bugging come from. She was bugging. Yeah. Now, yeah. I thought she may have got her in the back, too, until I saw her laying down and I saw the pool around her head. So, you know, it's, it's hard to see, you know, where she said that she'll be back. You know, I, I, really, I don't, I don't yeah. know. I'm assuming something like that could possibly kill you. Right, but you know, maybe folks in the episode will dream about her. I don't know, maybe, maybe because <laughs> she looked, he looked dead and dead to me, right? Well, so, Mooch, so, jump know. on it there, Mooch. God, Jesus. she didn't assess the whole situation, right? When they were arguing, mm -hmm. first of all, she was chopping that big block of ice up with that ice pick. Hello. The mm -hmm. first Hello. thing, like I said last night, I thought about the movie Basic Instinct with Sharon Stone with that thing. And, you know, she was jacking a lot of people up with that joker. So mm -hmm. I, I, I'm like, what is she doing? And then the smack 
when she smacked her in the face, that was the nail in the coffin. Yeah. Mm. That was mm. that was it. It was a done deal. The, ice, the pick in the ice the so smacks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, I mean, she wound up on that girl like she was a pinata and she let her have it. The <laughs> same way Vic Daddy just smacked him is the same way she smacked Claude. And then you think you're really just gonna walk up out of there. Really? <laughs> Really, she like like Moochie done said over and over again, and Nita too. You just a middleman at this point. I really exactly. wasn't feeling your panty draws. Obviously, I just wanted to get closer to whatever your draws had in the pocket. That's what I was trying to get close to. And now she done got close to that. She got Dolly of the Doctor, and we see in this coming episode, it looks like somebody about to kidnap Dolly of the Doctor. So that's what I want to ask you next, and I'll start with you, Moochie. Who is that person with the leather jacket running up on Dr. Dahlia? You think it's Tommy? You think it's Vic? Who would want to kidnap her? I think it's got to be Tommy because mm. um, that's that business with Claudia is just between Tommy and her now. Maya's right. gone, so now she's going to tell him everything. Mm, and I feel mm, like mm, once mm. they it, once they show Liliana how to make make, make that product, she's a going to too. Right. Yeah, she's good as dead. She's good as dead. There, there ain't gonna be no use for her. Um, uh, Nita, who you think is in the trench coat trying to get Dahlia? Yeah, I think um, I think it it makes sense for it to be Tommy, but a trench mm -hmm. coat, I, I don't know. Oh, I, I, don't re I don't I don't recall seeing it coat. shot for shot. So I gotta look at it. Yeah, I it was a it was a it was a leather trench coat, which makes me think it's Vic. That's who I think it is. Oh yeah, because but... that's what he wears. Mm. Yeah, running mm -hmm. around there looking like a Superman or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but so yeah, I, I I say it makes sense because of Tommy because he's the only one that's really tried the product, other than that <laughs> other um Hispanic guy, the first guy that she went to. Right, and... what's his name, Moochie? <laughs> oh. You talking about Reggie? Reggie? Mm -hmm. Um, dang, I got his name. Hold up, <laughs> I gotta go to my notes. It's Reggie Pina. Reggie Pina. Yeah, that was her friend. Yeah, that was her her friend. And so yeah. he wanted some, but he didn't put the press on her or nothing. He he did kind of come at her a little sideways, like where you get it from. But Tommy seems like he's the more um intrusive person like he's trying to figure out he's already he didn't swipe the barrels for and did all of these things so i you know i'm thinking she got him making plays for her or with her mm -hmm. rather not for her gotcha gotcha um t stream i'm gonna come to you but let me shout out a couple of comments i got mm -hmm. jordan Dreeland. hey lamont i am a fan from ireland what's up my brother what's up and if they bring the Irish into power, it would be cool to see. Of course, well, we would are. love to see more. We would love to see more of those races. Shite is how they say it. <laughs> and then I got my man Jamie Shannon. Man, that's some BS. The Serbs could have killed Tommy and the girl. That whole scene was fake. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this: the Serbs wanted some repayment. Yeah, they could have killed him, but they don't lost all these soldiers. They don't lost drugs. And I think they wanted to get some of that back before they killed him. So I think that's why they was having a whole hostage negotiation situation because they was going to try to figure out how Tommy could be utilized to pay them back some of everything they lost. Having said that, T-Streams, I give it to you, man. What's going to happen to Dr. Dahlia, the creator of this drug? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I think they, I think she's, she's, she's good as gone. And they want the they want the recipe, and once the yeah. recipe is out, she's she's no she's no good to the story at all, you know. Mm, mm, so mm, mm, no uh, loose ends. That's yeah. That's no that's good. Her. No yeah, good. T string. T string. What if she is Tommy's brother's baby mama? <laughs> Man, that's some good ass writing. I hope good the recording ass, right. end up watching this because uh, 
that would that would probably be that would be something that that power would, stars would try to do you know, <laughs> you know <laughs> to, keep everything, to, to keep everything you know flowing one with another mm-hmm. so where she come from oh that's his baby mama cousin okay <laughs> so well, but wait, yeah you, once saying, that once are that, you saying that that the doctor would be tommy's brother's baby mother yeah, little D Mac. Um, uh, but why would D Mac be in the street like that if he got a doctor for a mother? <laughs> because, <laughs> because, Come on now. because, because, because that's Moochie, what they do. Moochie, yeah. that's what they, Moochie. Look I at really, Tariq. Moochie, look at Tariq. Nice look at Tariq. He look homeless. Tariq. He, he don't look like Tariq. Tariq is still like a um. He's still like a book smart kid. I don't know. A, kids, kids doing but, some strange stuff and, and parents have everything kid, set out for him these days. But he he is still he still had privilege and could have not been in the streets Look, at all. I'm gonna he put my streets. card down and it's BS. I call BS on it. Hey, <laughs> Mucci, you were the first one to call BS on some of my stuff. And guess what you wind up turning around calling it? Look, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, I got I got I got a I'll have to repent. I'll just say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just a wild conspiracy. If if it turns out that this that woman is his his mother, hey, it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, coming fresh off the red carpet. I mean, <laughs> I'm surprised the money hasn't started to rain down yet. We've got our last member for the night. Please it's let the home girl, Miss K. It's the home girl, hey. Miss K. Hey, everybody. Please hey, let it rain. Rain. <laughs> rain now. Rain, honey. Rain. <laughs> yes. What's, what's up, what's guys? What's up, Miss K? How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. Hanging in there. I, I, I love your house, man. That piano. Can you go play me a song? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> uh-huh. hey, so now we got you in, we Sorry, got go you ahead. in here miss k um yeah. what were your thoughts and opinions on this last episode how did you feel what did you like what did you not like um i liked them teaming up against the serbs mm-hmm. uh and uh you know and and that whole split how they were gonna give uh the cbi 34 percent and stuff like that mm-hmm. um what I didn't like, uh, for a lot of people, it's no surprise. I just, I'm just kind of tired of not seeing Walter Flynn be about that action. So that's what mm-hmm. I didn't like. <laughs> Other than that, so, it was a pretty good episode. You know, I love the camaraderie. I love everything that's going on between Liliana and um, Tommy. Mm-hmm. I like that whole thing. So, so that's you, about you it. Other like than that. When- Go ahead. You didn't like when Walter Flynn pimp slapped his son. Mm-hmm. You didn't like when Walter <laughs> Flynn went into the bar <laughs> and pulled some of that. I thought he was about to hit that girl across the head with that bottle of vodka. Mm-hmm. So you, you didn't like none of that pimp slapping my son action? Listen, that he deserved. But at the end of the day, that's his son. He ain't going to do nothing more than that. I'm talking about these other people. You talking about this is your say. I need to see something. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So in, in that what? aspect, I, yeah, I, I gotta agree. He, he, he's a weak mob boss. I don't. I don't think exactly. he could. I don't think he could have hung around Tony Soprano's table very long. No, yeah. no. not at all. He's so literally if, if, not a threat. <sighs> if he's weak, how do y'all feel about Musevich? The new. The, I, I, I said he didn't look all that menacing to me. He shot homeboy, but. Um, that listen, listen, he way more gang. Look, the dude said something fly out of his mouth, and boom, that was it. Ain't nothing to talk about. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, you want that supposed kind of to be, action. Yeah, if you're supposed to be a force to be reckoned with, that's what you're supposed to you do. Gotta bring the smoke. Exactly. Mm. Nobody could talk back to me. When I'm if I'm the man or the woman in my case, you can't talk mm-hmm. back to me without consequences. You can't be all up in my say. Trying to wreak havoc and nothing happens to you. Like, no. Okay. Okay. Damn. Fellas, y'all heard it. She bought that action. She she bought that action. 
That action right there, she bought that action. Oh, Lord, got that oh, action, mercy. baby. Okay. So it's a good way um, to get your point across. Exactly. Exactly. So Mooch, it looks like in the next episode, it looks like we might see Flynn giving that action that Miss mm. K is talking about. It looks like he's doing a drive-by scene in what could possibly be Glow's car. Do you think that that was Flynn finally putting using a gun in the episode in this season? Hmm. Yeah, he sent shooters, but it wasn't him. Mm, okay. He sent shooters, mm. and she gonna be busting back. So I mean, and she sure was. Yo, she ain't playing that military out coming out. Go up, up, up. Yeah, she ready to get yeah. out. Yeah. Did you see her nails? All I could see is she's shooting them bullets with them nice, crisp, done nails. Her nails was on fleet as okay. she busting the cap. I have a I question, Lamont. You said that military is coming out. Can you please, mm -hmm. like, expand on that? Because I expound, I'm sorry, because I don't remember her being a part of the military. That must have so been over my head. They dropped, they dropped like, some... Huh? Right. They dropped character descriptions um, before the season started. And then her character description, it highlighted she has a military background. Oh, so you got to be one of those to know that. Unfortunately, so they didn't even say that in the episode? Right. No, but in the first episode, he looked at the dog tags in okay. the... Yeah. Right. In her, right. right. But she said, but she said it was her husband's, husband's. Right. right. So that's so the yeah, thing. I was like, what are you... I think it was a yeah. blunder. I think with stuff like that, if it's going to be in the description, it's kind of not fair. You need to you need to put that in the story so that her just coming out, busting up, you know, busting shots makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But what if she was lying, though? What about if she who's, is in the... What if she don't want to reveal that about herself? Yeah, that might be... That'll work, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that'll work. Right. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. I like that. Look at y'all writers in the writer's room and you're getting the story ready. Put, put, putting this good shite together. Look at y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent, Mike. <laughs> I, I, I do. I have a Ladies question that I, that I tried to go back and, okay. and see if I could answer it, but I, I didn't see anything. I was maybe one of you guys know. What is Gloria's mm -hmm. debt to Walter about? I think it might be about that the bar. the bar, right? It is this the bar. Okay, it's the bar. I think it's about the bar. Definitely it's about mm -hmm. the bar. And so maybe he's funny. She it has to her a, or something. Who knows? But at the end of the day, the fact that they was running clean money through that bar was supposed to have been helping to work off her debt. Right. I don't know how much debt she's in, but he's saying you just leave my son alone. The debt is wiped clean. And then you seen the daughter come through and offer two million dollars in that land deal, and Jay Mo said that land is worth way more than two million dollars. But we'll go with what Power is saying. Mm -hmm. So she could be done with the debt, and she could walk away with two million dollars in her pocket. And she was looking at that contract. So Miss K, what yes. you think she's gonna do? Oh, uh, that's hard because uh, I don't know if I trust her all the way. <laughs> right. I don't really trust her that much. I feel like they haven't really given us much about her to really draw a, a solid conclusion. So I, I don't know. Right now, I just don't trust her because of because there's not much to know. She's she's kind of mysterious. It does seem like she's about being with a man with money. Um, she she ran to Tommy in that episode. She ran right to his to his place after she found out that he was into that life. So I don't trust her. So, mm. so it, it it could go either way, you know what I mean? Maybe mm. she'll she'll feel like I'll take the gamble on um, Vic because he looks like he's serious this time, or she might say, "Look, I can't gamble on him, so let me take the." You know, I don't know. So uh, I'll come to you, Moochie. I'm with you, Miss K, because wasn't she just telling Homeboy, "Give me my key back"? You know, mm. this is not gonna work between us. And when Tommy said, I can't screw you no more, all of a sudden she's back in Vic arms, wide right. open, back in his arm, kissing exactly. in the fake ass Ireland and Chicago and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Can, I mean, can, what's, what's the deal with Glow, Moochie? What's the deal? Can we trust her or not? She said she loved him because of his loyalty. So she's in love with him 
but she wanted him to be able to stand up against his father and do what he wants. He doesn't want that the life that his father is giving him as far as marrying an Irish woman. And mm -hmm. he wants to do his business his way. And that's she, but she likes him for his loyalty because he's trying to stay as loyal as he could to his father until he sees that they're not making as much money as they used to his way. Okay, T streams thoughts on glow, man. <clears throat> I don't I don't know what to think about her. <laughs> you know, every time I look at her, I'd be like, damn, she oh looks like Lord. Maya. But outside of that, you know, that's what I'm I like, said. Uh, you know what? You know, her angle is real strange, you know. And like Miss K said, you know, she's sort of all she's sort of all over the place. And so next time she mad at Vic, she'll she'll be back over there with uh Tommy. So I don't so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but this this is sort of what I was thinking. I don't know. I right, so this is not law, and I don't, you know, I really don't have anything concrete to substantiate it. But I'm thinking this is probably what what may happen, or maybe this is probably what I want to see happen. I'm thinking Walter gonna probably have her knocked off, mm. and then mm. and then Vic, mm. in return, is going to knock off his father and claim that seat. Mm. Uh, so uh, because of that, it, because the the conversation between Walter and his uh, consigliere was a little bit was a little bit deep when they was talking about you can't get involved with the kids in this love. He said, "I don't." He said, uh, "You got a chance with your kids. I, I can't with mine." And if Walter, if they're gonna start playing Walter in between that, if they're gonna start playing Walter in between that relationship, it wouldn't make sense for him to just bring him to the door and dabble a little bit just to you know just to for a small storyline they might as well go ahead have him in knock the girl off and then Vic come through <laughs> and now he got it now he got his throne and then right. they can put the city up however they want to hmm now but, Nita I gotta come to you I'm I'm gonna pivot away from glow a little bit because we obviously somebody on this panel done killed her ass off but they, they, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't well, need make that to. two people. Make that two people. That's like uh, we killing the bitch. So okay, so she's there. <laughs> right. So I'm, I'm, I'm writing it down, y'all. <laughs> oh, no, let, let me take my notes <laughs> too. Let, let me go to my trusty notes. Uh huh. Gloria, me, uh, T Miss Streams, K and T Stream said that Gloria is done by this season. Goodbye, good riddance. Okay. Now, Nita, here's the thing about getting rid of Glow. And let and then the father, in, I mean, then Vic in turn decided to knock off the father. How is the daughter gonna feel about that? Because she still obviously cares for her father. And then we still gonna have a situation going on with Walter Flynn because the FBI is about to put pressure on the man that just said, "Look after your kids, Pauly." So we can't forget about that. They was they they is about to put the squeeze on him. So how is Pauly going to play a role in whatever decisions is going to have to be made by this Flynn family? You know, I think Pauly is going to be indirectly. Um, I think they're really going to just really hone in on his son. And I mm -hmm. think what is going to happen now, listen, I'm, I'm going to say it here. If you see that crackhead son of his, with some clean clothes <laughs> on, trying to come home <laughs> and make nice. I oh said that God. last week, though, Nita. You did? Yeah. 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 I said they're going to clean him up, yeah. and he's going to come back wanting to tell his dad he went to rehab yeah. and all of that. I'm telling yeah. you. That's what I'm thinking. They're going. That's the end that they're going to do. If you see him all cleaned up or something like that, you know something is up with him. And I think mm. Paulie is going to be indirectly kind of affected by it. I don't think he's going to have a part to play in it. He's just going to be affected by it because, you know, he's going to be trying to think of the good in his son and it's going to kind of go over his radar. It's like his blindness is going to be up and his son is somehow going to infiltrate something. But what I really think Vic needs to do, he needs to be his, he needs to step aside from that throne, leave Walter and his, his, um, old Irish throne over there to the wayside. He need to 
create his new own man thing. Yeah. and do be his own man because this whole you backhanded me every other episode you mm -hmm. want yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying that's like no I can't I couldn't live like that that is that's no way to live that is no way to live <laughs> you're watching all of you you watching me on the top episode. of my car getting some strokes in getting some cheeks like no man no like he violated like we can't do that no more so, but he still deserved that, 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 that one, though, don't oh you think? Oh my god, <laughs> y'all don't think he deserved that, that one? He no, told me because for some reason, I about the no. mom that was a little disrespectful. No, I, he needed I that one. I don't think it was about the mom. I need to go no. back and research because I wouldn't think that he would talk about his mother like that. It seems he said like it worked out oh, so well mom. for you. It was about his mom. He said it worked out because that worked out so mom. well for you, right? Maybe he deserved that his mother was messing around on her a lot. Right. It's, it feels Maybe. something like that. It but it like still that. deserved a smack. Bop. I don't think it was his mother. I think it was another woman <laughs> in play. <laughs> Dipping in the chocolate. Yeah. Hey, you well, never know. I mean, we, we, we've already <laughs> done that on this channel. Theory. It ties into movie right. theory. Mm -hmm. we, we already done said on this channel that <laughs> The daddy hate blacks, but he's showing up dip his penis in that black chocolate. He show, he won't wife him, but he'll one night him. We've Ooh. already talked about that, and we know, yeah. and we've seen other southern <laughs> racists in America. They yeah. they will not admit that they used to slip right on out of that hen house where the Ooh. slaves were sleeping, and go have them a Ooh. night full of nothing but chocolate and cigarettes. Right here in North right Carolina, them. Tobacco Road. Oh boy! They feel like they feel like it's okay for them. You gotta take one don't... behind that. Yeah, as long as they don't bring it home and all that. <laughs> take one. Are you taking shots? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Oh, oh my God! That's a patrol <laughs> one. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got three hundred and thirty-nine people. Let us get three hundred and thirty-nine likes. All these great people have channels. You've got to check them out. They're all entertaining. They're funny and they're quick witted and they know what they be talking about <laughs> on this show. So let me get y'all on. What what there was something else I wanted to cover before we start branching off in here. Uh oh, oh. I'll start with you on this one, T Stream. Talk to me about the utter hypocrisy of old U shape edge up line Seamus. <laughs> Man, if they don't hurry up and get rid of this dude, and they do not what? hurry up and get rid of this dude here, I mean, he's just you want everybody to die. You don't want know, nobody to survive on the show. Well, we already we said something about him dying yesterday. Well, you know, well, he's on yeah. point with it. <laughs> right now, you so when you when you think about power, you think about key characters dying. Right now, just a, just a few loose ends have you know have gave up the ghost, so nobody really significant. And so I'm waiting to see who's going to be the significant one. But this dude right here, I'm like, uh, he's just like, golly, he's in the way. He's a, 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 a crooked cop, you know, yeah. a, a crooked cop trying to trying to perp to be real. Mm -hmm. And so and he's applying pressure. He's applying pressure to Diamond in them, I guess, you know, because he's taking the back from, uh, from the Flins or whatnot. But, dude... I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe it's just my natural inclination with weird cops. I'll call them that. And, uh, but dude is just dude is just in the way, and he has right. that face that only a mother can love. God, oh, God, oh, God. You said he got a face only a mother can love. Well, somebody in the wow. chat is saying that's JP's lover. Oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, somebody, somebody in the chat just said it. Oh, you know I pay attention. No. Like that's what I was saying, oh, no. and that's oh. that's something that Paul would probably do. Oh my god! Oh. If if that is JP Lover, oh my lord! Have yeah, me. I'm done. I, I'll be done with this with this right here. And I'm thinking here. it's Reggie Pina. That was my guess. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm thinking Reggie Pina too. I mean, they ain't give him that name for nothing. Reggie Pina, uh, that's what I'm thinking. That, he so, just had, he has that flamboyant way where he look like he in the Yeah, he, like I said, he's I'm he's very saying. eccentric. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. eccentric. Uh, Nita, what do you think about old Cricket Seamus? He serves no purpose 
at all for me. Like, it, I mean, he just feels like one of those things that you just kind of throw in there and just be like, I'm just going to get on your nerves. Like, you know, one of them people that just like walking around like your little shadow. Like, he, just, he is Damn. so irritating. Damn. He is so irritating <laughs> to me. I'm just like, he could get one wow. real fast. Real, real, real fast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, he just he just in the way. Right. Yeah, he yeah he's just in the ones, way. Right? Yeah, he need a couple he needs of some hot ones, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let us get some silence because if you if Nita and T Streams takes was that hot, I can't wait to hear what Miss K take is gonna be. I said Miss K. I didn't say Miss M. I didn't say Miss W. I didn't say Miss S. I said Miss K. What uh, do you think about <laughs> Seamus the cop? Um, I, I think I appreciated um diamond calling him out and you know mm -hmm. kind of putting him in his place taking him down a little bit knocking him down a peg but um i'm hoping that you know if they're gonna show this situation i'm hoping that it it progresses into something i mean we need because this guy following diamond around it does seem pointless but we find out that he does hate him for a reason um, right. It's because of some bad batch about his, it's somebody, I think it's a family member, you know, could be a sister, could be, you know, somebody that's close to him that got a hold of that bad batch. But, you know, I just think that it was, it was kind of, I think we could have done without it in this episode and maybe they should have brought it up earlier because at this point, I don't know. And then some people have already predicted that diamond is not going to make it out of this season. And so it's <laughs> kind of like, why would you bring that up? So what? I'm just hoping that they follow through. That's my whole point. They're just doing too much of, they doing too much. Poking. I don't know. Stuff is sporadic for me on, right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess that's I didn't the predict new way. It. Rillo did. That's the, that's the <laughs> new way to keep things moving. So yeah. I'll get you guys out of here on this. Um, I want a major death prediction. I'm not talking about JP. I'm talking about your Diamonds, your Gennards, your yeah. Tommies, your Claudias, your um, Glows, your Vic Flynn, your Pauly. And I'm going to go okay. around. Let me get my notes together. So uh -huh. when we come back to do this, <laughs> we'll have it later. Moochie, you first. Major. I need a major. Death prediction Ooh. by the, this season, Moochie. Who you got? Wow, yeah, because I do believe one, one, one person is gonna die out of that core group at least. I one. think Dom is at gonna the very die. least one. I Diamond. think Dom is gonna okay. die. If he don't die, he's going back to jail. I'm, a, I'm, oh, I'm talking about, well, yeah, I, I wrote it down yesterday. Jail. Okay, I don't care about jail. You don't care um, about T-Street, who you got? Yeah, I don't care about jail. Yeah, he's dying then. I'm calling the Grim Reaper on Jannard. Oh. Hmm. So, and, what? and, and, yeah, what? I'm, Jannard, yeah, I'm, I'm calling this because he's an inside antagonist, all right? They already got okay. three, four, five, six, seven other antagonists to supply problems for Tommy and them. And so... Uh, I think out of that out of that core group, he'll probably he'll probably be one. He'll, I'm hoping he's the first to go. You know me. I, 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 you know, <laughs> it's, it's TV, so we can wish death on him. So, right, right. So I'm like, yeah. so, <laughs> so, that's the thing. <laughs> so I'm thinking that he'll be the he'll be the first one to go because that would that right there would eliminate any future problems between him and his brother because if if his brother go, then all the BS that he talking now, I deserve this, I deserve that, just puts him automatically at the top. All right, mm -hmm. and it, it, you know, it might make news for an additional season with that storyline as a conflict, but it probably wouldn't be too interesting. So you know, he he can go, he he, he can get the boot. One, <laughs> I mean. What what street dudes you know going out hitting some massive licks in a thirty five hundred dollar Javinci sweater like it, 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 you know. <laughs> no see, broken it's, though. See, it's a, for you T streets it's about the optics because you from the old school of the street 
You know, this these new street dudes, man. These new street dudes that ain't used to no money. They, they rolling around with their Lamborghinis in the hood. They park them in the hood. They hop out the car with Air Jordans every day. So if if Jannard ever came on my block, we had oh to get boy, him like this. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. We gonna stand him up. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Jannard is not allowed. We do not like haters. Jannard is not allowed. T string <laughs> on my block. T string. You gotta stop before the military draft your ass to Ukraine because we. <laughs> It's, 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 it's going down over there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. Hey, That's a whole neither, story. Right. Me, neither okay. Got. I, I, got, um, I got Janar being safe. I got him being safe just okay. because okay. I see him being an antagonist similar to Dre and Kanan. And, you know, you always got to have that... Uh, that little internal conflict or whatever. I think if you leave Diamond, it's going to be too kumbaya. It's not going to give what it needs to give. I think um, I think the better bet would probably be to go with Jannard, uh to keep the drama going. And, of course, because he has so many different entanglements. Like, you know, he likes Liliana. Then, you know, he has mm-hmm. the beef with his brother. He got the beef with Tommy. And, you know, I think it, it just keeps it a little bit more interesting because he has a little bit more character development and more interactions with different people. <laughs> and I don't see that with Diamond. And so when Brillo said that, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I can definitely see that happening. Yeah, and I, I also think Glow is safe. She, If, if ever is still alive from book two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. And the family ain't get rid of him. He on reserve. (laughs) (laughs) He on reserve. (laughs) But I I don't think that they're going to do that to Glow because Glow hasn't snitched. She hasn't done nothing. She's, you know, they're just in love. I think what's going to end up happening, I think her end game is she wants her own restaurant. She wants to get from underneath their thumb. She wants her own restaurant and she wants to like do her own thing. But they kind of have her like under their thumb and you know, all this stuff. And I'm like, she if she's washing your, your drug money um through the <laughs> through the car, the the bar and the club, I don't understand. I feel like that's a barter system. I don't understand why I still owe you anything if I'm fronting, you know, your cash flow, you doing business in there, all that stuff. So anyway, I don't know what all you know, it's just he white and he say so. I guess that's what that is. And oh. um who else? I think Walter is dying. I got him dying. I don't think I would like for somebody to kill him. I really, really would. But <laughs> for some reason, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be just like all his um yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those things. <laughs> Alexa, call it now. You know what I'm saying? It's like one of those things. It's gonna be it could know. be that. It could be okay. that, or somebody so- could kill him in a way that they it could pull like it he's... off that it looked like it was from his sickness. Oh, that would be good. Yeah. Gonna call for only, so, per, only people that I could think of doing that is the, is one of the kids, and I, I don't yeah, really see them doing that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. unless so he kills Glow. Nita, you got so your death prediction is Walter. If and no, and Diamond and Walter. Okay, Diamond and Walter. Okay, and last but definitely not least, ever least, Miss K, give us a death prediction. Um, I want to say glow, but, um, I kind of feel like she might make it in maybe at least to season two, but, um, Mm -hmm. it's between her and Walter. Uh, if, 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 if he kills glow, then this will create more conflict. I feel like her dying brings more of the story. It pushes the story forward. Mm -hmm. So, um, because now and then also Walter dying as well, because now Vic takes over and then we know Vic is not he's not doing the things a conventional way like Ireland likes. So that could bring in that whole, you know, Ireland situation. Irish, That's what I'm waiting yeah. for. Right. Yeah, bring Irish, in Ireland nah. because they don't like exactly because they don't like how you doing things now. His father did warn him. Do if you don't do it the way that I'm teaching you how to do it, 
you're going to have hell to pay for it. So I feel like if those two people die, it will bring in the Irish mob. That And, and I'm kind of hoping it'll go that way because I want to see the story progress to some mafia style stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm with that. <laughs> and so for me, um, Miss K said it all. I'm, I only got one death prediction. I ain't going with two, three is one. And it's the damn daddy. The Who's daddy dying pushes this story so much further. It mm. opens up the door for so many things. I can see Daddy Flynn making an attempt to kill Glow. Mm -hmm. Vic finds out about it, and maybe Vic don't kill him because he ain't got the stomach to do it, but maybe Tommy does it. Maybe Tommy mm. kills him for Vic, knows True. that Vic is going to be at the head of the table, and then Tommy also reveals to Vic, we in business with your sister, so it's a family thing now. Mm -hmm. And they all go, go, and go to work in business together, but then you got to deal with that Irish mob coming who might decide to team up with the fucking Serbs because I don't mm. see them handling the Serbs before this season is over with. So for me, 100%, the most likely person to die because it takes this story in a whole different direction. And he's not, he's not really a good um, antagonist. He's not menacing. He don't scare me. It's Walter no. Flynn, and this is the list. Y'all see yes. it right there. That's that list. You say he right? don't scare you. No, no, not man, scary no, at all. No, no, not at all. I mean, the hell, big, I'm a the, respiratory the big therapist, wolf. and he got a lung problem. Yeah, so no, I'm not the big scared. bad wolf is out of breath. Okay, yep, he, can't <laughs> right. breathe, he, can't, he can't huff and puff no more. Nope, he nope. can't even breathe into nope. that little machine. He can't honey. Even mm -mm. Blow them balls no. up in the air. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that machine he was using. For all my respiratory nerves, that's called incentive spirometry, ladies and gentlemen. You're yeah. supposed to be able to get all the balls to hover at a certain length, which means your lung is expanding in good volume. Shit, he had balls, shite, excuse me. He had balls here, one down here, and one up <laughs> wasn't going nowhere. So no, he's not surviving. He's yeah. done. He's milk toast, and I don't even eat cereal no more. So that is it for us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> don't forget to like that video, comment, subscribe, Subscribe to these wonderful people's channel. My crew tonight brought out 400 people at one time. Big kudos to this crew. Y'all love it when we get a good mix. And be sure to come back on the 23rd when uh -oh. I will have Paulina Wynn, who played my and fellas. She got a little soul in her. She has a soft spot for Black Lives Matter. Uh oh. <laughs> and I will press her on all the good questions, see where her career is going next and how she enjoyed working with this crew on power. All Till right. that next Sex is Hell video for me, it'll be tomorrow. I'll see y'all. See ya. Yeah.